Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find, not find, but I guess find the simplest answer uh, to this expression. So I wrote down the rules of exponents that I'm going to use in this problem, and I'm going to try to touch base on you know almost all of them, except for the division, as this one doesn't have any division in here. But um, I want to go through each one of these rules as I'm explaining how I'm going to use them to simplify. So the first thing I want to do is you know part of PEMDAS. I see I have parentheses up here, so I'm going to want to make sure I distribute to get rid of those parentheses. So what I notice is I have you know a term here with a couple of exponents raised to another power. So when I have something raised to another power, what I notice is I'm going to multiply my two exponents. Well, sometimes we have exponents, sometimes we don't. You can see here this 2 does not have an exponent. So we can put in the number 1 because 2 raised to the first power we know equals, uh, equals 2. Now, the next thing we need to understand is you know, when we have a number outside an exponent, that exponent is going to distribute to all of our terms inside. I'm sorry. When we have a number inside our, our parentheses, that exponent is going to distribute to every single number inside of the parentheses. So therefore, I really have 2 to the 1 times 4, which is 2 to the 4th, x to the 0 times 4, which is x to the 0, and y to the negative 4th, times a negative 2, x to the 5th, y to the 4th. Now, x raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1. That's actually another kind of rule we can talk about. So therefore, that's going to equal 1. That's going to kind of, what we can say, is just cancel out. 2 raised to the 14th power is going to, or 14th power, 2 raised to the 4th power is going to give me 16. Now, y to the negative fourth, before I do anything with this, I, before I even notice this and say, hey, oh, can, you can put it below, what I can do is I can say, well, I'm multiplying y times y. So I can say y to the negative fourth plus four times negative two x to the fifth. Well, a negative four plus four is going to give me zero again. And like x to the zero, y to the zero is going to cancel out. So therefore, I'll be left with x times negative two x to the fifth. Well, now all I have to do is multiply my 16 times my negative 2, which would give me a negative 32 times x to the fifth. And that is simply uh, all we need to do. Just make sure we know our multiplication rule to add our two exponents. And that's it. That's all we'll need to do to simplify our answer. Thanks very much.